you come along with me To the Mississippi We'll take a boat to the land of dreams Swim down the river, down to New Orleans The bands that have made us Old friends that have greet us Where all those good folks meet you really me glad to be yes we where comes free your soul dear to me I can I lose my face in street blue hey friends this week we are working on the 1928 Spencer Williams tune Basin Street Blues this is a huge hit for Louis Armstrong as well as Jack Teagarden um, the funny thing about this tune is Basin Street at the time was not what it was when we think about this song. You know, Storyville had already closed all of the brothels and the red light district and all of that. We're kind of coming out of that, that carefree spirit of, of the early jazz days in New Orleans. And this is sort of harkening back to those early 20s, late teens sort of days that were really known about back then. Um, this tune includes the verse almost always when we play it, which is just a 12 bar blues, but there are some great little patterns that are call and response that we play against the vocal. So let's cover those right now. So we're in the key of C, and we're gonna really just hit a C on one and sing the first one, little lick. So it'll be, won't you come along with me? And then we're going to respond to that vocal melody with the chords. And what we're going to do is we're going to pluck our C and E strings twice. And then we're going to put down our second finger on the second fret of the C string, our first finger on the first fret of the E string for the next beat. And then just slide that on up a fret each time until we arrive back to a C major chord at open four, three. So our little lick will sound like this. Right? Won't you come along with me to the Mississippi? So let's see that little second response lick that we have. We're going to cop exactly what the melody just did. We'll strum through a C major chord and then pluck the C on the third fret of our A string one more time come down to a B flat on the first fret of our A string. Open A, open G, and then A. If you're playing low G, of course, you can play the third fret of your E string. So very slowly, the second response section will sound like this. And then what I do is a little G seventh pickup to get us back into the C. So we'll pluck our two inner strings and then just put down the second finger on the second fret of the C string and then the first finger on the first fret of the E string. So the whole lick will sound a little bit something like this. And then we're into strumming the tune at that point and there's nothing really too hard into there. Now as we get to the turnaround of the tuner where it resolves back to C, what we're going to do is play a unison line along with the melody. So here's what the little verse sounds like. Won't you come along with me to the Mississippi where all the good folks meet heaven on earth where this is Basin Street. So what's that little unison line there? So we go, we start where we did on the second line, C chord. Walk down to a B flat on the first fret of our A string, open, A. And then we're going to go E and come up chromatically. So E, F on the first fret, F sharp on the second fret, G on the third fret. And then we can go to an E flat on the third fret of our C string and then resolve it to C.
and pull off on that C there. Hear it one more time. And then we can do that little G seventh hammer on again as we did in the second response section. And then we're just going to repeat this entire thing. So let's play this whole little lick um, so that you can hear the call and response section. Won't you come along with me? To the Mississippi Way I know good folks meet Heaven on earth where this is facing and then we just stop right there. We repeat the whole thing again to get us in to the main chorus of the song. Now the main chorus of this is not a blues, although we call it Basin Street Blues. We go C, down to an E7, so our dominant three chord. And then we're gonna cycle right on through. So you might notice that this progression is something you've heard before. This is really the same as five foot two. Has anybody seen my gal or please don't talk about me when I'm gone. A one, three, six, two, five progression. But we have a little variation in here that happens. We start out C for a measure, E7. And then we're going to an A7. Up to D7. G7. And then we'll do stop time hits when we get to the turnaround. So what we'll do is we'll strum the C, stop the sound, C diminished, stop the sound, D diminished seventh, stop the sound, and we strum through our G, and we can add a G7 sharp five if we want here. So a little verse will sound a little bit something like this. Space and street is the street where the early they always meet. Down in New Orleans, land of dreams. Now here's our stop time. You never know how nice it seems or how much it really means. Right there. And then as we get to the next little section of the tune, there's a slight variation and there's two ways that we can approach this. When we get to the A seventh chord, we change the melody just a little bit in the second half of the tune. And we have two chord voicings that work and depending on the music that you're looking at, both are perfectly acceptable to play. So for the first section, we're gonna play just one bar of A seventh, but then for the second bar of A seventh in this second section, we will play either an A seven sharp five, so adding the F sharp on our E string on the first fret, making it open, one, one, open. Or we can go up and actually play a B flat chord here. For two beats. Either functionally works. We're highlighting that F that is the melody note either way. It depends how stark you want that contrast to be. I personally prefer the A7 sharp five chord. Um, most of the original sheet music does have a B flat seventh in there. So please feel free to play with it and use either variation that you want. It's really up to you and chords are never set in stone. I'll see y'all next week.